Okay, B Money, what's uh, going on, man? Hey, Ball Brawl. Yeah. Kansas City, what brings you here? Man, I'm out here with uh, collegewrestlerrecruiting.com. It's a new software that's going to help kids and parents go through the process of the recruiting. Um, Cause man, it's a stressful process. It's not easy. I remember back when I was in high school trying to do it um, without my mom. Me and my dad would have been really lost. So uh, something like this, it's it's pretty cool to partner up with that and hopefully help kids get to the next level. You know, I talked to you and you're healing up. Body's yeah. healing up. We were talking about the grind of the college wrestling. You know, last year was the last year for you. Now it's it's onto the international circuit. It's not quite as as, as pounding, as demanding. Not the weigh-ins, yeah. not the training six days a week. Um, when you look at that, are you anxious to get started in your wrestling career in international? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was going to try to go over to Poland about a month and a half ago, and uh, logistics didn't work out. You know, it kind of came up at a weird time, but um, now I'm just looking forward to the first time I get to go international. And I think I'm going to Russia next month. I don't want to say too much because if it doesn't happen, then I look like an idiot. But um, I'm excited to get over there. I'm excited to feel international people. Um, really just have that exchange in freestyle too. Um, I was very successful in high school, but I haven't wrestled since high school. So um, Freestyle? You haven't wrestled freestyle? No, no, no university nationals? I never did it, yeah. I always oh. took my summers off. So I took it. Work. That worked, by the way. It does, yeah. It's uh, Because, man, college is a grind. And uh, some people have it in them to want to keep going through that, but I always took my breaks, finished school that semester and everything else. So um, I'm excited to get back in freestyle mode because I was actually more successful in high school in freestyle than I was folk style. So um, I'm excited to show what people I got. It's obviously a learning curve, and uh, there's some things that you got to learn, but it's fun. I'm a student of the sport again, um, which I'm very excited about because I think in folk style, doing it for, you know, 15 years straight, you kind of lose that. And uh, you're always getting better and you're learning new things, but you, uh, you know, you, you kind of become the wrestler you're going to become. So I'm excited to fill these new positions, learn how good I'm not at parterre and stuff like that. So uh, and it's an exciting uh, transition, really. Most people at your level aren't excited to learn how not good they are. Yeah. Okay? That's, a, that's a learning mentality right there. Where does the learning mentality come from for you? Um, mostly that I've just realized that I want this to be my life. And for this to be your life, you have to always continue to grow and always get better. Uh, people are really good at wrestling. It's it's actually insane how you go to the OTC and you start working out with everybody and you grab just random people all the time and you just walk out of there just like, dang, people are good at wrestling. So, um, you know, reality sinks in really quickly. And if you don't have that mindset, you might as well just quit because uh, getting broke by another person is not a good feeling. So you better learn how to stop that and uh, learn how to win. So ultimately, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to um, have literally my job be a professional wrestler. And I just get to go in and try to become the best wrestler I can every day. It's, uh, it's a blessing. Speaking of fellow Wyoming, your fellow Wyoming uh, yeah. wrestler, David Taylor, yep. just put it on you as Donnie again. Did you watch it? Uh, no, I didn't get you to You got to see it. I know. They get in a far ankle, and that's where he breaks it. He, he gets, he's able to like get out of those like the pressing underhooks, you yep. know. But you know, in, in looking at it, that's a that's a different feel from the Iranians to the Russians, right? Wow. We're talking finesse versus club you in the face, push you all over the place. Yeah. How much of that feel are you really like, it's, it, dude? It's so contrasting, yeah, right? Absolutely. How excited for that are you? I'm really excited. I'm nervous for it too. You know, there's a there's a lot of times where I'll start posting and somebody starts pulling Russian on me, and I'm like, geez, I don't even think this guy's good at a Russian time. It still bothers me. So wait till you actually hit a real Russian. Uh, wait till you start getting underhooks thrown on you but um ultimately you just got to feel it you know i have a i have tion where is my coach and he wrestles very much like an international wrestler at this time he kind of stands up he just beats on you beats on you and he's just standing straight up and you're like man i can't even take him down this is crazy so normally american wrestlers with much lower stance very uh you know mobile like that so um i'm excited to feel it but ultimately you just got to get over there and just you just got to wrestle you got to get matches in and that's my goal for 2019 is to get as many matches as I possibly can in starting next month. Okay, last time we talked, we had, yeah. let's get it, let's get it. First off, you, you're not a bad looking dude. Yeah, thanks. But wrestling, it bangs you up, man. Yeah. You know, it was after the NSA finals with Yanni. Um, any other injuries since then? You got stitched up. Were you concussed after that? You, know, you talked, you were a little man. cloudy, right? Yeah, for like two weeks. And I didn't know if that was just like for me being slightly sad because of the loss obviously but um my girlfriend even she would ask me she's like are you okay like you might need to go to the doctor because i was in a freaking fog man for two weeks after that um so yeah it probably concussed me i mean i've kind of like i've kind of blacked out for a second in the match when it first hit me it clipped me just perfect so um but you know that's just part of wrestling i honestly i love scars i love stitches um you know like you said like yeah be a pretty guy or whatever like that but you can still be pretty with scars on your face and uh, you know, it's always just about stories to tell. Uh, and I don't know. I enjoy. I enjoy having ugly ears sometimes. Obviously, I don't want them to be too too ugly. But 
uh, the cauliflower, the scars, it's all part of it. I want to be, I want to look like a tough dude when I walk in the room. My niece actually called you pretty. Yeah, well, she tell said her. he's pretty. Well, tell her thank you. <laughs> all right, traveling. I saw you did some traveling. Yeah. Did you go to Iceland? I did, yeah. I went Iceland, over to Alaska? I went to Alaska, Iceland. You did that crazy France, hand tram? Spain. I did that hand tram in Alaska over yeah. that raging river. Oh, yeah, that thing. The Chugach State Fish. Park. What? Is that Chug what it was? Yeah, Chugach State Park, yeah. yeah. I was only there for like half a day, so. It's crazy. But yeah, almost all my traveling, so everywhere I've been, I go for like one day. So like when we were in Iceland, we literally did everything that almost everybody does when they're a whole week vacation in Iceland in, th in 12 hours. It was insane. Me You're doing Johnny, the wrong thing, man. Me and Johnny was running around. You're doing the wrong thing. You need to start doing, like, it's, we'll call it extreme micro tourism. Oh, there you go. There you go. I could, like, start vi video logging or something. Cr no, crazy, but you could do all the crazy stuff everybody does in a week. You could yep. do it in 12 hours. Yeah. That's, you and Johnny. That's how you have to be when you're uh, trying to train too. You know, you can't you can't afford being gone for weeks at end. So um, things happen quick. But man, it's a blessing. I, I got to travel a little bit this year. Uh, I got to do a ton of clinics and uh, you know make some money off that and also just give back to the kids. You learn a lot when you become a coach and have your coaching mindset turned on. So um, I'm a I'm thankful for those opportunities. Okay, last thing. Fall brawl here. We got fall brawl. Let's We're here go. in Kansas City. Right, Fall Brawl, what are you looking for today besides helping out with the recruiting service? I mean, honestly, I just want to see some kids scrap. Uh, that's my favorite part about wrestling. I don't really care if people win, lose, or whatever. I just want to see people start smacking each other in the face, have the ref step in maybe, and then somebody come back with a dub leg, slam them. I don't know, whatever, you know. Um, I just like high-intensity high, high intensity wrestling. I don't like watching people stand around too often, so um, I try not to do that. Obviously, some matches pull you into that, but... Uh, Ultimately, I just want to see people scrap, and I like watching little kids scrap.